So it wasn't just the grounds, it was also these flesh-ripping saddle screws that just kind of made me decide I'm going to work on this guitar. The pots were just tough to turn, and there's this ugly seam line here that just needed to not be visible. It's too bad that this was a stained guitar, and I'm going to change that. So the pots were very small. I actually had to bore out the holes a little bit in order to get new proper size potentiometers in there. And the little crappy brass claw has got to go. Um, bye bye. That thing is just, it's just flimsy. It's just not great. But the bridge itself is not bad and that's going to stay. The neck is the highlight of the Festley guitar. If you saw my first review of the unboxing of this guitar, the neck is the shining spot. It feels great to play this neck. The fretwork was really well done, and it's an electric guitar, and it is the latest design. It is a fun guitar to just grab and play. They clearly spent a lot of time on the, on the, the frets. They're not rounded, but they're very well done. Uh, I did have to do a little polishing. You'll see some of the stuff I do to this thing. It was just time. I took the neck off. The first thing I did was start to stain it I have some vinegar and peroxide that had soaked with some steel wool, some forot, and it really creates a nice dye that starts to yellow up and kind of even, it even greened up a little bit in certain ways. Uh, so I sand it down in, in, in areas and, and I just kind of layered some on and took it off and laid it on and added some true oil and eventually the neck just the, the best thing about the guitar became even better the neck now is like a joy to behold it looks great it feels real smooth i am really happy with how the neck came out it, it's it looks a little uneven in pictures it's it's kind of got that aged look the whole approach for this guitar is going to be that i'm going to kind of do a thin coat over this poorly done sunburst and as the, the green color starts to wear away, it'll expose the sunburst kind of look. And I've seen some strats that look like that. The first thing I did was I laid down some primer, a whole bunch of primer. While all that stuff was drying, I, I decided I was gonna go ahead and wire up everything. And I'm gonna add this Tessie kill switch because who doesn't like a kill switch in a super strat, right? I don't need two tones. I'll do a master tone, master volume, and a kill switch. Now there's a couple of other things about this guitar that you probably should know if you bought this and you're thinking about doing it. I'll go over them. Um, it, it's, a, it's a fine guitar to mod up the single coil routes. I'll show you, they're just a little bit small. I'll show you what I, I, I my intention was to put a fender pickup in there. It didn't quite fit, but I am really happy with the color and how this looks at this point. Um, I added some clear coat, I did some sanding and got it kind of evened up all over and you can see that's this is just some early looks at it while I'm in the shop and I've done some before and after pictures and things like that just to give you an idea of what one day in a paint shop can do and then some buffing. I didn't want a real high gloss thing, I wanted this kind of a satiny low gloss kind of look so that's where I ended up. Like I was saying, these routes, I, I use the Fessley pickups um, as far as these single coils go. Here I have a Fender pickup and the actual base of the pickup is like a millimeter wider at the point than the Fessley. And I tried to get it on camera here. It's, it's not real easy to see, but the Fessley is just a little skinnier. I've seen a couple of the other replacement pickups that are about the size the fender if you were thinking of putting a fender in here it's just a little big right at that point so 
I decided no fender and the Fessly was going to have to stay Fessly single coils. But I did have a fender blacktop pickup, uh, and it's actually uh, a four wire pickup, so I could also add a coil tap so, or a coil split. It's just going to split the coils, not going to tap them. So, my humbucker will be a fender blacktop pickup that I put a chrome cover on and it really goes great with the Fesley single coils. So uh, I'll run through some of the sounds, but the only other things that I, I had to do was I had to bore out those holes for the, for the uh, potentiometers and on the neck I actually had to bore out the holes. The holes for the tuners were just a little small compared to the Geikers that I ended up throwing in there. I didn't want to go full on Goto or anything like super expensive. I don't mind the Geikers. The Geikers aren't bad as long as you don't clamp them down real hard. But as far as inexpensive locking tuners go, those are not too bad. So here's a quick look at the guitar as it stands right now. And I'm pretty happy with it. I did a little bit of aging to the neck, you know, got it dirty, uh, polished up the frets, there's the tuners that I was talking about. They just dropped in place once I just bored the holes out just a little bit more. I have a Frankenstrat logo coming. I do have a little Frankenstein decal I put on the headstock there. And this little brass screw plate, that thing has to go. So I have a new one going into place. The bridge, it's the same bridge. Now, once I kind of sanded down those screws, they were fine. And let's take a listen to how it sounds. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
If you want to see the original unboxing of this guitar, click on the little link here to the left and let me know what you think in the comments below of how this guitar came out. I'm pretty happy with it, all in all. Thanks for being here, you guys. Take care. Yeah.